Welcome everybody to Google Cloud Innovators and in Telecommunications. We're here at Digital Transformation World in Copenhagen, and I have with me Bruno Silva Santos. Bruno, welcome. Thank you very much. Could you introduce yourself? So, as you mentioned, my name is Bruno Silva Santos. I'm Executive Director of Cellfox, and we are a professional service company specializing in data and bringing value from data, and a huge, uh, important partnership with Google. And, and I tell you what, data is really critical. And uh, we've been together here at the show and uh, Cell Focus and Google Cloud, we have many sessions. Yeah. Could you maybe tell us a little bit more about what you're addressing in the sessions and the challenges uh, you're looking to address with those CSP customers? Yeah, so basically with Google, we are very engaged on, of course, data, data uh, bringing value from data. And uh, we are, we believe that we are a key partner and a different a differentiator partner for network analytics, which is something that we are helping the CSPs to adopt, bringing their data from the network, adopting cloud, adopting Google Cloud as their, their, um, their pl the place where the data should be. And also on a different, uh, on a different perspective, we are also supporting on Google, supporting on your tools to accelerate the cloud adoption across not only network but across uh, uh, across all domains uh, in telco and also in non-telco industry. So you have two those uh, two two different streams. So adopting cloud, they did move data to the cloud, and uh, move data from network to the cloud and uh, bring uh, exposed benefits from that data migration of the network to the cloud. Well, and and the, you mentioned a really critical piece because the network and the data from that network are some of the last pieces to kind of break down silos and be moved, if we think about that, and that becomes pretty critical information for the operators to gain knowledge from, yeah. expose and act on. Yeah, so of course in this industry, what, what, what the operators are chasing now is on efficiency and operation efficiency and, and, and customer satisfaction and bringing the network data to the cloud. And you have a few examples of uh, how to accelerate the, that, that transformation of enhancing and boosting the, the efficiency, working on the data and uh, using AI and, and, and Gen AI to expose, to, to enhance use cases and boost the use cases of bringing advantage of using uh, the, the, the network data to the cloud. We have a very uh, important reference for us and also for Google, which is in one of the major CSPs of Europe. So we have the, the delivered um, a multi-country system that takes advantage of the data from the network in order to boost efficiency on managing the incidents of the network, managing the network, bringing the costs of the, the first line of operations, uh, lowering the cost of first line of operation. It's a huge reference for us. It, it was also mentioned as in this event as one of the first AI ops uh, uh, solutions in cloud uh, deployed on Google. So this is a huge reference for us is also very important for you, as, as we can see, and we are trying to replicate this not only uh, to expo extending on the on this particular client, extending to other domains, not only network, but also moving into service operations and custom operations. So using the same framework, using the same components, the same architecture, but also to leverage on this and replicate in other operators. So we're working this with you and hopefully we'll be very successful. And I think some, one of the keys to that when you were talking about the network is being able to bring that data in real time. So when we peel that back, what's that architecture start to look like and why couldn't we do it before, but we can now do it today? Yeah, so the project that I mentioned to you, that was one of the, our, 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 our presentations in, in this uh, DTW. So we, we started a few years ago, so we did it everything on-prem using a release of an Hadoop, which it doesn't matter <laughs> from whom, but we, so we did it uh, uh, on-prem and then we did it so we complement it with, with automation and end-to-end -end observability of the system. But uh, our client decided that it, 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 uh, Google, uh, they have a strong partnership with Google. Google has the capabilities and, uh, and the performance to move all that information uh, to the cloud. And they have real-time updates because this system is a real-time system. Uh, um, it, uh, it triggers real-time events. So, we, uh, there was a decision to move what's all, what was already in place in an on-prem solution to cloud. So we did, the, we did the refactoring of all the solution to use your Google components, uh, proprietary components. And then 
we moved, we did the data migration and we did the fine tuning with your engineers. So it was a challenge also for us, but also for you. So we did it, the fine tuning in order to achieve the KPIs that were already uh, existing when the solution was on prem. So, and we, we work uh, side by side with you, which is something that makes us also very proud to fine tune the solution on, on the cloud to achieve the KPIs our client wanted. And it's a success, and you, you saw the client speaking on Harvey Health. Uh, the, and that's the really success fabulous of if you think about that, because we're able to do in the cloud and meet the same KPIs and specs and collaborating to create that fine tuning that was on premise. So that migration to the cloud and not losing performance, but actually. It's a real time solution, yeah. yeah. In real time. Yeah. Um, it, it's something I know that improved that efficiency. What's kind of that efficiency improvement? that was able to be achieved. When you mean efficiency, efficiency in terms of operational improvements or? Operational improvements or um, other metrics that found define yeah, success. So, so I, I think the key metric of the success was first to prove that we were able to lower the costs uh, and improve scalability of the solution in order to, well, we move it from on-prem to cloud and we refactoring the solution to adopt the Google Cloud components. So that was the first. Um, the first key uh, key driver. The second was, in a way, our client wanted also to reskill their team. So they wanted to, so they have the data in the cloud. They want to take advantage of the data. So they wanted to reskill their team that was used to, they had the knowledge of managing the network, but they don't have the key skills to handle the data. And the, our client combined those two key skills. So having the knowledge of the network, and having uh, uh, reskilling the team to have the capability to build uh, use cases on top of the data uh, ecosystem that they just moved to Google. So those are the two key drivers, and of course scalability of the solution, and you know all the key, um, uh, all the all the drivers that made a, an operator to move to the cloud. So scalability, cost efficiency, and so on. I think, really think that's been a fa uh, fantastic uh, collaboration and a real good example of how we're bringing value to that marketplace. And you see the shift to the cloud, even on the network side. Where does this go next with the cell focus and Google Cloud partnership? Well, uh, definitely we want to, and we did it already, we want to expand to other domains, as I mentioned before. So we started for the first line of network operations, and then we moved to cloud. Now on cloud, we are expanding to service operations, looking into the higher level, and we are also replicating the same architecture, same components, same principles to uh, customer operations. So in interacting with customer uh, and having the insights helping us your, your interaction with, the, with your clients. And also taking advantage of Gen AI. So we've been using AI since 2018 because our client pushed us to, to use AI. One of, uh, just for curiosity, one of the key uh, KPIs for us to be awarded with the project, we need to prove that we can bring value with AI to the solution. So we've been working since 2018 with AI use cases. So we move those AI use cases to the Google Cloud, refactoring the solution, but we are now taking advantage of Gen AI and Vertex AI to build new use cases on top of that data lake. So I think where we want to go, so we want to replicate as much as we can the solution. We, we want to enhance it with new use cases and when we want to start bringing more value to our clients, extending the, 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 the scope of the solution, new use cases taking advantage of Gen AI and new technologies that Google provide us. Yeah. I can't believe it. It's been a, a great partnership and we're looking forward to taking it into the future and helping other customers moving to the services side. Again, a fantastic job of refactoring, leveraging Gen AI and AI on top of that and creating an easy and workable solution for the operators. Yeah. So, Bruno, I really appreciate you stopping by. Okay, thank you very much, my pleasure. On behalf of Cell Fox, I want to thank you also for the invite. So, Absolutely. Thank you very much. And that's it for now for Google Cloud Innovators in Telecommunications here at Digital Transformation World.